Joining us now to answer your pet questions, as always, is Dr. Kim Hammond. Thanks for joining us. My pleasure. And we got, this is, is uh, Stella. This is Stella. This Hi. is the coolest little thing ever. <laughs> it's just a... It's just a ball of joy. <laughs> just happy dog. Oh, go ahead. She's you very kiss. happy. Yeah. And and speaking so of happy, you, met. you had said that uh, before we get to the pet questions, you yeah. said you want to, there is a, uh, um, a bark, in, bark the in the park program. Yeah, the Orioles about? are doing this great thing this summer, and, and we'll tell you more about it. But it's for your dog, and, you, and it'll be a bark in the park. There'll be all sorts of really interesting things. Mm -hmm. and, and all the money that they make is going to be donated to local dog charities. Okay, so you great. have more information on that More coming information, up. be looking for it. All right, yep. great. All right, let's get to the first question. Okay. Uh, what is the latest best way to protect against heartworms, fleas, and ticks? Okay, so, you know, there was a big dermatology meeting actually in Maryland, veterinary dermatology meeting this week, and, and I'll tell you the, one of the takeaways. We know there's heartworm pills and flea pills and mm -hmm. so on and so forth, but what they're saying is the latest information is protect your perimeter. Oh, protect your okay. perimeter. Go outside on the grass and in the hedges and in the mulches. Mm -hmm. And you know, you call Prolon Plus. They're the local guys that are really smart as a whip. Mm -hmm. And they'll spray and treat it. And it keeps the fleas and ticks and mosquitoes away. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Good to know. All right. Um, allergies. They are making my cat itch and causing scabs all over his skin. Is there anything I can do? I'm having allergy problems too. <laughs> <laughs> My son, everybody, really? everyone's got it's the brutal. allergies. It's brutal. It's that time of year. It's absolutely brutal. Yeah, there is another new product, Apoquel, which we're using in dogs. Mm -hmm. so you can now use that in cats. It's a non-steroid, stops the itch. You'll see commercials on the air for Apoquel. Mm -hmm. Talk to your veterinarian about it. Now, this is the interesting thing. It's not on the label to use on cat yet, but again, the dermatologists are recommending using Apoquel. Okay, Apoquel. Yeah. Keep yeah. that in mind. And sticking right. with the uh, allergy theme, my dog has food allergies. Is there a dog food that you would suggest? Stella, Stella, Stella. would you calm down? Speaking of food, I'm talking about food. Stella, it's shake, rattle, and roll. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, there, there, there is a, a dog food by uh, Royal Canin, the brand Royal Canin. You can mm -hmm. get it anywhere, and it's called Altamino, Altamino. And you know, a lot of dog and cat foods that are hypoallergenic, they don't like the taste. Mm -hmm. The Altamino is a great brand, so I would use it. So Altamino. you know, spray your perimeter, get your flea and tick medicine, get Altamino. Sounds and good. And Apoquel. All right, we learned a lot today.